Okay, hi, it's Mr. Summers, and I'm here to help you with the first few problems of this mixed gas law worksheet. So this will encompass two things, the thing we learned um, yesterday with the ideal gas law and also the combined gas law. As you can see, both of them are right here. This is the ideal gas law. Here are all the R's. And then the combined gas law is right here. And in case you need to convert, here's atmospheres, KPA, millimeters of mercury, tor, and pounds per square inch, which is missing an I. That's kind of embarrassing. Okay. So when you're doing these problems, the first thing you want to look for is, does the problem talk about moles or grams? And if it mentions moles or grams, if you're given moles or grams, or you're trying to solve for moles or grams, then you're going to use the ideal gas law, which is PV equals nRT. And if the problem does not give you moles or grams, then you're dealing with the combined gas law. No moles, no grams is the combined gas law, which is P1, V1, T1 over P2, V2, T2. Sorry, P1 times V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2. Now, these problems will also give you a before and after picture, like, hey, you know, here's your initial pressure, you change pressure to this. That is going to be combined gas law always. This, the ideal gas law, does not give you like a set of conditions. It's just a snapshot. There's no before and after when you do the ideal gas law. But moles or grams is a good way to figure out which problem is which. So when you look at problem number one, it says, at what pressure would 0.15 moles of nitrogen gas occupy at 23 degrees Celsius and, um, and sorry, at 8.9 liters? Well, again, you're given moles. Okay, so you're going to use the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. This is for number one. And when you do this problem, it's probably easiest just to rearrange for pressure first. So if you do that, pressure equals nRT over P. Then you plug in. Um, the N is 0.15 moles. The R you can pick because you're solving for pressure. So any R you pick will be fine. I like to do 0 0.0821. And the temperature is... 23 degrees Celsius, 23 plus 273 is 296 Kelvin. 296 Kelvin. Then you divide by the pressure. Oh, sorry, this should be on bottom here would be volume. My bad. So divide by the volume, which is 8.9 liters. And then it just spits out pressure for you. Now, this pressure is going to be in atmospheres, but you can also have a pressure in kPa or millimeters of mercury, depending on which R you picked. So for me, this is point. 0.15 times 0 0.0821 times 296 and divided by 8.9 and I get 0 0.409 atmospheres. Now you can have a different one, but it'll be equal to 0 0.409 atmospheres, so whatever number you pick. Okay, number two. And number two, it says a gas has a volume of 800 milliliters at negative 23 degrees Celsius and 300 torr. What's the volume of the gas be at 227 degrees Celsius and 600 torr pressure? Again, you got um, a before and after picture here. There's no mention of moles or grams, and so you know that you're doing a problem that is going to be a um, combined gas law problem. So it starts at 800 milliliters. Now, for the ideal gas law, you change this to liters, but for the combined gas law, you don't need to. Uh, that's your volume. Your pressure is um, 300 torr. And your temperature is 250 Kelvin. Set it equal to um, the new temperature, which is jacked way up. 227 plus 273 is 500 Kelvin. And the volume we're solving for. And the pressure is 600 torr. Lots of ways to solve this, um, but for me, it's always best to just rearrange. So that would be 800 times 300 divided by 250. And to get V2 by itself, you divide each side by 600 and multiply each side by 500. And that would be equal to V2. Now you just plug that into your calculator. 800 times 300 times 500 divided by 250 divided by 600, and you get 800 for your volume. So the volume didn't change? Funny. OK. 
Yeah, let's try one more. Um, how many moles of gas would be present in a gas trapped with a 100 milliliter vessel at 25 degrees Celsius and a pressure of two and a half atmospheres? Again, it says moles, so you're using the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. You're solving for moles in this case, so if you rearrange that, moles equals PV over RT. And now you can plug in. Uh, let's see, the pressure is in two and a half atmospheres. The volume is 100 milliliters. That's got to be in uh, liters, so you divide by 1,000, so it would be 0.1 liters. Uh, let's see, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. That's 298 Kelvin. And since my pressure is in atmospheres, my R is 0 0.0821. And then just plug it in. 2.5 times 0.1 divided by 298 divided by 0 0.0821. And you get about 0 0.01 moles of any gas. It's just whatever it is. It doesn't say. So there's how you do the first three problems. And um, looking for moles is a great indicator of which kind of uh, equation you're going to use. Have fun today. Bye.